Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you so much for coming here to listen to my little five minutes of divine interruption. I wanted to come on today and just talk to you about the power of waiting. Um, I have been in a season, a prolonged season of having to wait on the Lord. And I know that Right now, with the pandemic and everything that's going on, it could be a little hard because maybe you're struggling with um, bills being paid, obligations needing to be met, or um, you know, financial struggles. Whatever, whatever situation you may find yourself in, not even just for this season right now with the pandemic, but just in life. Period. There is so much power in waiting for God to move on your behalf because the beautiful thing about him is that he will move, but he won't allow you to go if there's things out in front of you that could be harmful to you. So he is so loving and he is so patient and he is so kind that he goes before you to make the uh, the road smooth so that once you get to that point in life, then you will be able to, to just go forward and go ahead. I love this scripture. I'm going to read it from the King James Version and it's Isaiah 40, 31. It says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles, and they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. So waiting for God to move, it really opens up the way for you to be able to have a smooth transition into the thing that he has called you to do, onto the path that he has prepared for you. Because when you try to step out, on your own, when you try to go before God, like he will give you a revelation and then you try to go before him. And in doing so, you you mess up the path. You mess up the, the way that he may want you to go. Not that he won't use those things, but he will, he, he wants, he wants for us to be able to walk smoothly. He wants for us to be able to accomplish what it is that he has prepared for us to accomplish on this road, on this journey called life. So I just want to encourage you to, to just wait for God, wait for God. It, it, it may not come when you want it. That is so true. It may not come when you want it. It's always right on time. And it may not even be the thing that you're waiting for. It may be favor that he blesses you with. It may be Somebody, I mean, who knows? I don't know your situation, but I know for me personally, I in this season, I have been blessed with favor. I have been blessed with with um with people reaching out to me because they hear about what I'm doing as far as uh, the nonprofit for the domestic violence survivors, the transformational living program. So they reach out to me to help me, you know, and I don't even know these people, but God knows, and he will, he will connect you with the right people to have the resources, to have the provision, everything that you need. So just wait. And in your waiting, don't just sit there and just wait, like twiddling your thumbs, like seriously, cultivate the relationship that you have with God so that you may grow and advance in your relationship. So if this thing comes back up again, then you will have the tools that you need to be able to, to go through it again. And so it'll be with ease. So it's like when you go through the situation, just look at it as if your faith is growing. It's the way it's whatever you're going through, it's it's an expansion. God is expanding you. He's expanding your faith. He's expanding the ability for you to be able to believe in him and to wait on him and to know that he said he's gonna do exactly what he said he will do. God said that he's not a man that he should lie. You know, and I, I know that people may come up against us. They may lie to us. They may promise us things. They may tell us that, you know, hey, I'm going to do such and such for you. But God is not that kind. God is not that kind. You can truly put your faith in him. You can truly put your trust in him and know that he's going to do it. And and don't be discouraged if he doesn't do it when you want him to do it. Move yourself out of the way. Allow him to be God in your life. Allow him to be Lord and, and you will advance 
so much further. You will soar so much higher. And and because we get caught up, we get caught up in, oh my goodness, I, I have, you know, all these people that are following me or I've made this amount of money or whatever, but how much more do God want to pour into you? I mean, did you do that according to your own understanding or did you really rely on him? Those are things just to think about. But it's so important to wait on God and to and to cultivate a relationship with him so that you could hear him, so that you can distinguish his voice. Because like Jesus said, you know, my sheep know my voice and they follow me. So you only you only get to know somebody's voice by having a relationship with them. Cultivate that relationship. Wait on God and wait and, and watch and see what he will do in your life. It's only up from here. I told my son that this morning. It's only up from here. It's only up from here. I had a vision where uh, actually it wasn't even a vision. I was literally driving my car and I looked in the rear view mirror and behind me, I could see a little bit of the road that I had just driven on, but then it faded out into what looked like a huge ball of smoke. And I said, my God, all the bridges, everything from my past that has held me back is gone. It's gone, it's gone up in a ball of smoke. It's gone up in a ball of smoke. And so now I have the ability to be able to focus and move forward and do what it is that God has called me to do. But in so doing, I still have to wait. I still have to wait. No, my businesses I've been working on for for uh, for five years now, they're, they're, they haven't taken off the way that I want it. Sure, there's some things within me that God had to move around. There's still some things in me that I have to overcome. But guess what? God is faithful. God is faithful because the desires that are in my heart for, for the business, for the nonprofit, for, for the impact to help women, all of those things, God put those desires within my heart. He put those desires there. So it only serves me to wait for him to be able to, to move forward because healed hearts matter. Healed hearts matter. You have to allow your heart to heal from, from past hurt, pain, trauma. You have to allow your heart to heal so that you don't bleed on God's people because God loves his people. He cares about his people. And just as much as he care about you, he care about others as well. So with that being said, wait on God. There's power in waiting on God. There is power in waiting on God. There is power in waiting on God. He will pour out his spirit and, and allow his spirit to dwell in you so that you will go from glory to glory and he will be glorified in everything that you do. Wait on God. So that's what he had me. Uh, that's what he gave me this morning in my time of prayer and meditation. And I just pray that this bless somebody. I pray that that no matter what it is that you're going through, no matter what it is that you're going through, I know that I have been in situations where it has been rough. I mean, coming from being homeless and and um, abusive situations and being talked down to and all those things, it's hard to overcome. But one thing's for certain and two is for sure is that the journey of healing will be a lifetime, will be a lifetime. So just wait on God, allow him to do what it is that he needs to do in your life, in your circumstance, to move some things out of the way. And even if he don't restore that thing that you're wanting him to restore, even if your rent don't get paid, there's something better coming. I remember when I had to give up my, I bought a brand new car. I have never bought a brand new car. I mean, the smell of it was just phenomenal. I have never bought a brand new car in my life. This was my first time in 2017. And I had to give that thing back at the, uh, in December of last year, 2019, because I could no longer afford it anymore. And that hurt me because I was like, oh my God, I love that. But God kept assuring me that there's something better coming. There's something better coming. There's something better coming. And I stand on that. And so I'm waiting for him. I have a car now. I, I was inherited a car. I mean, you know, I, I, I'm grateful for that. But I know that the desire of my heart is coming. It's coming. And it's not about the cars. It's not about all that. I mean, God don't want us broke anyway. So I don't have to go through all that religious spiel with nobody. But yes, wait on God. Wait for God. Be patient. 
be patient. And if you need help, reach out and get the proper the proper support that you need. Because being around other people that 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 will just stroke your ego or or wrap you up in self pity and 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 condemnation self condemnation those aren't the people to be around. You need to be around believers, people that have faith, people that have already walked the walk that you are already going through and can can and can encourage you to to uh, just wait on God and move forward and listen for Him to move because you never know who He gonna speak through. But to be around people, if, if you're, I, I heard this saying years ago, if, if you feel like you're the biggest one in the room, then you're in the wrong room. Your circle is too small. It's time to elevate. So be encouraged on today. Um, follow God, wait for him, and, and he'll see you through. So I will talk to you all later. Thank you so much for joining me. And I really look forward to uh, our time together next time. Until then, be blessed.